Chapter Six: Fractions. Wow! What a yummy cake it is, Mama! I want to eat full cake. No, my child. We need to distribute this among other children as well. You can have a fraction of this cake. Fraction? What is a fraction? When we divide a whole thing into parts, each part represents a fraction. Let me tell you fractions with the example of this cake. This is one whole cake. When we divide it into two equal parts, each part is known as half or half of the whole. When we divide it into three equal parts, each part is called one third or one third of the whole. When we divide it into four equal parts, each part is known as one fourth or one fourth or one quarter of the whole. Mama, can you tell me more about quarters? Sure. When we take one part out of four equal parts, it is known as one quarter or one fourth. When we take two parts out of four equal parts, it is known as two quarters or two fourth. When we take three parts out of four equal parts, it is known as three quarters or three fourth. When we take all four parts, it is known as four quarters or four fourth, which is equal to one whole. Reading and writing fractions. Children, today we will learn to read and write fractions. Look at the figure shown on the board. Here, total parts is equal to five, shaded parts is equal to two. So the fraction obtained for the shaded parts is two fifth. We read it as two by five or write as two fifth. In two fifth, the number two is called the numerator. And the number five is called the denominator. Let's learn to read and write some more fractions. Total parts are four. Shaded part one fourth or one fourth. Unshaded part three fourth or three fourth. Total parts are five. Shaded parts is equal to two fifth or two fifth. Unshaded parts is equal to three fifth or three fifth. Total parts are six. Shaded part is equal to three sixth or three sixth. Unshaded part is equal to three sixth or three sixth. Total parts are seven. Shaded part five seventh or five seventh. Unshaded part two seventh or two seventh. Total parts are eight. Shaded part is equal to seven eighth or seven eighth. Unshaded part is equal to one eighth or one eighth. Total parts are nine. Shaded part is equal to eight ninth or eight ninth. Unshaded part is equal to one ninth or one ninth. Total parts are ten. Shaded part is equal to nine tenth or nine tenth. Unshaded part is equal to one tenth or one tenth. Equal parts in collections. Look at the collection of given mangoes. There are total eight mangoes in this collection. Let's divide it into four equal parts. It means we have to find one fourth of the given collection. We find that there are two mangoes in each part. So one fourth of eight. Equal to two. Types of fractions, like and unlike fractions. Fractions having the same denominator are called like fractions, and fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, three by four, four by four, eight by four, nine by four, one by four, and six by four. Are Like fractions, and fourteen by seventeen, nine by twelve, nine by eighteen, 
3 by 6, 9 by 9 and 1 by 14 are called unlike fractions. Proper and improper fractions. Proper fractions are less than one whole and improper fractions are more than one whole. Let us consider a fraction, say 8 by 10. Here, 8 is the numerator and 10 is the denominator. Here, numerator 8 is lesser than denominator 10. So, it is called a proper fraction. Let us consider another fraction, say 8 by 5. Here, numerator 8 greater than denominator 5. So, it is called an improper fraction. Unit fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is 1 is called a unit fraction. For example, half and one ninth are unit fractions. Remember, all unit fractions are proper fractions. Mixed fractions. A fraction which has a whole number or integral part and a fractional part is called a mixed fraction. For example, 2 3 fourth is a mixed fraction in which 2 is the whole number or the integral part and 3 fourth is the fractional part. Changing a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. For example, to change 2 3 fourth into an improper fraction, multiply the whole number by the denominator that is 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Add the numerator to the product and write as the numerator that is 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Write the denominator as it is, that is 4. Thus, 2 3 fourth is equal to 11 fourth. Changing an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. For example, to change 37 fifth as a mixed fraction. Divide the numerator by denominator and write the quotient as the whole number and the remainder as the numerator. That is, in 37 divided by 5, Q is equal to 7 and R is equal to 2. Write divisor as the denominator, that is 4. Thus, 37th fifth is equal to 7 to fifth. Comparing like fractions. Look at each cake. For each cake, decide which shaded piece is the smallest, which is the largest and which comes in between. 2 eighth in between, 1 eighth smallest, 5 eighth largest. Order of fractional numbers. When the numerator is same, then the fractional number that has smaller denominator is greater. Half is greater than one third, which is greater than one fourth. When the denominator is same, then the fractional number that has greater numerator is greater. 3 fourth is greater than 2 fourth, which is greater than 1 fourth. Addition of like fractions. When denominator of two or more fractions is same, we add only the numerators. The denominator remains the same. Example, 1 third plus 1 third is equal to 2 third. Example 2, 1 fifth plus 2 fifth is equal to 3 fifth. Subtraction of like fractions. Now can you explain the subtraction of like fractions? Yes, the rule which we followed in addition works here also. If the denominator is same, subtract only the numerators. For example, this shape has 8 equal parts. 5th, 8th are shaded. Let's take away 3 shaded parts from 5. 5 eighth minus 3 eighth is equal to 5 minus 3 whole divided by 8 which is equal to 2 eighth.